and I found the solution for the easy cap very simple the only thing you gotta do is have a white splitter a Y splitter cables so you need to have a, a female red and a female white with a with a male uh, male uh, what do you call that um, jack that goes straight to the you know the same jack that go to the headphones but you put it to the microphone port so basically you have to go buy the white splitter cable two female port the red and the white one that will take the playstation male red and the white one and it will actually uh, transfer the sound as a microphone to a computer so uh, basically the good thing about this is you don't need a driver when you already have a um, you know a computer already have a microphone port or jack, so you just uh, put it inside and uh, it will take it uh, very simply and without having any problems. The only thing you gotta do and when you start the video uh, recording, you gotta specifically say that uh, what um, what do you call it. What, what, where is the microphone? Is that the microphone, the USB port? So basically, you said that's the microphone, and uh, we'll take it very simply without having any problem. It's that simple. Again, I mean, our conclusion just go buy a white splitter cable with two female, female port, a white and the red one. That's about it. Simple. Alright, guys, and uh, right now I'm going to, uh, after this, I'm going to show you guys how to install the driver, and uh, then it will, I will show you how actually it works for me. Alright guys, and click star, right click on my computer, all computer, right click on manage, then a box will pop out. Basically it will show the de device manager. Click on device manager. Click on device manager and you will see all the devices that you have on your computer with a driver in or without a driver. As you can see right now, the USB 2.0 video capture controller is not installed and you see a yellow sign next to it very simple very easy to notice so what you're gonna do right now is very simple now you're gonna click on it click update browse on my computer then you click browse then you find the file then you say ok and then you click next then it will install the driver a red box will pop out saying install this driver you click install the driver software anyways and then you just wait a couple of minutes and voila it found it STK 1160 and you click close and you got it it's about that simple it's very simple now the USB audio as you can see in here uh, how, as bad as you want to install a driver for it it will not work and don't bother and don't waste your time by installing a driver for the USB audio interface interface it might be actually the device not working properly but the driver is actually working properly who knows but the point is just don't waste your time the picture will come out very nicely Now let's get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to